Hey Hannah, uh, I traveled through time and space because it seems like we missed my boop boop because we got too drunk in your kitchen. So I saved it for the best place imaginable. Right here on top of the that night. So without further ado. Someone say straight white man. <gasps> so Eugene, mm. I love you. Mm. I love you too. <laughs> this makes me feel safe, but also free. We first like closely hung out at Ned's Super Bowl party. Then when Gaga came on and we sort of like emotionally hanged witnessed. together. Yeah, okay, witnessed. Or came. Two different perspectives. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I've loved Hannah since she started Drunk Kitchen. There's a certain uh, idea around people who work in viral content that maybe they're not like truly authentic or maybe they're not um, really Great people, but you've always been amazing. Last time I met you, we were at a gay club and we were sitting in a corner and we were holding each other's faces going, God, we should hang out more. Yeah, I actually think I said to you, Eugene, whatever it is you want, you can have. You just have to say that you want it. And I said, yes, I really want to order the nachos. <laughs> you started with this concept of your kitchen. You're here in your apartment. It's like one camera. This is Hannah doing her Killing it. You have always been your authentic self, and I think that's really important. Wow, I'm getting very touchy. Ooh, yeah, bro, that. Yeah. I appreciate you saying that because I think people forget what the word viral means. Mm -hmm. And at its core, viral means ever changing, ever adapting. So I don't believe I could make viral content today because I have already gotten what I wanted. I have inhabited the host. And then I met you. So here on this channel, right now, Eugene, I'm gonna do what everybody wants to do. <laughs> Let's get nipple piercing. Make out hardcore? Okay. Um, so my nipples are really sensitive, so that's why I can't Me get too! Them. Yes, thank you! Nobody should touch yeah, them! Really Don't fun. play with them! It's really fun for a second, and then you're like, whoa! whoa too too much. much! Oh my god! Yeah, there you go. Can I list the Try Guys in order of how much I despise them? No! Ned, no. you are actually not at the top. <gasps> Zach is at the top. <gasps> Zach and I know. Oh, okay. We're too similar. He's yeah. Jewish. I'm Asian. Are you Jewish? Yeah. And gay. That. And so white looking. It's been a burden my whole life. Just getting huge advantage. Don't Eugene, my brother-in-law is also Korean. Mm. And he gave me this gift of something I think is a lot. Can I give it to you? Yes. Wait, you actually have a gift for Eugene? No, it's not a gift. It's a burden. Korean ginseng liquor. This Korean ginseng liquor, which by the way, camera, I don't know if you guys can see, this Mudrake inside this bottle. No, that's ginseng. That's Harry Potter. Oh wait, what's your house? Gryffindor. <laughs> what's yours? Slytherin. Do you have more white wine? I know. For a friend. I honestly have never met anyone who likes and wants white wine so much. Oh, it's yeah. terrible. I like white wine a lot. Okay, so we are going to take a shot. Ready? So in Korea we say kumbe. 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 Wait, what are we kumbeing to? To just the Korean American children watching right now. Yes. Yeah. May El May Ella and the Try Guys and Hannah Hart and Eugene enjoy this ginseng Korean liquor. Here we go. Kumbe. Yeah. I like it because I drink all liquor, but it does taste like dirt. What liquor gets you going? I actually don't have it in this house. Are you serious? Yeah, hundred percent. Gin is a gin. It's a single malt scotch. I can't have it because I mm -hmm. drink it mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. And you know I love a single malt, baby. So we're gonna put this on top of that. Are okay. you drunker than I am right now? No, I am more drunk. Oh, okay, great. We're gonna put the layer of starch on top of the other starch meats and dairy. Oh, just put it away like it never happened. Now the one thing that we have that we have to be aware of is as the last layer, we have the um, aesthetic. <gasps> Responsibility. Responsibility. Yeah, we oh have my to know god! Thank God you're the last layer because you're absolutely right. The last layer is a layer people see, i.e., the self you project onto others. Even if you might be trash on the inside, you could be classy on the outside, and everyone's oh, gonna taste it's you. Not trash. <laughs> Get saucy. I love eggplant parmesan. I love fungi. You know you don't leave mushroom for argument. <laughs> something that you've never told your audience. It can be small like you did. I know what it is. Okay. I have perfect teeth. I do have never had a corrective I lucked out on the genetic gene pool. That's why I can never take credit for anything. I'm like so smart and mentally stable and like cute and compact. Okay, so I have mushroom. <gasps> oh my god, what happened while I was talking about my 
my teeth. <laughs> Mushroom basil. And then also, I know I asked for prosciutto, but I don't think. Oh, bitch. So I think I have the best layer. And now we're on the last step, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna smush this thing down, slather it in cheese, and then we're gonna eat this. Charles really wants prosciutto. Two of the Try Guys can't handle dairy. This is dairy. Hannah. Yeah. What should I do with this dairy? Spray a little over the top. Okay. <gasps> Different from what I thought! It's perfect. Let's just put it in the oven. Yeah. Hope for the best. Are you try guys or are you try men? Well, I think we're, we're try guys. guys. Yeah, yeah, we're guys. You know what it is? It's called the trimester. Let's talk about pregnancy. Hey, well, there's three of them. That's why they call them trimesters. Uh, it's three months in every mester. Everybody, Eugenie here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need you to stop staring just at Keith. <laughs> is this a wine cooler? I mixed uh, Chardonnay with Yerba Mate. Everybody, what we made here today is a combination of all of us. And regardless of the outcome, it's about the effort. That's don't a nice try way this at all. Our pizza's gonna suck. You really don't know that. It might be very tasty. <laughs> no! We oh! are pizza gods! I can't believe it works, guys. It's like a really tall Lunchable. You know? I'll be honest, I did not think this was gonna work. Oh. 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 There are nothing right. but meat on the I, on three. In fact, let me get a little more pepperoni in here. Cheers. Okay. Mmm. 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 I love the crunch of the uncooked broccoli. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, the broccoli is a real winner. And that's going to be what makes you fart. And oh. the sweetness of the fun petty just coming through at the end. That's just pure melted sprinkle. The center is nice and cool, <laughs> like a medium rare steak. <laughs> I want to oh, say I hate this, God. and I can. It's really terrible. Some of your pepperoni fell in your way. Where did that cat come from? Ah! Everybody, I think what matters <laughs> here today is the following. Combined efforts might not always be good, but they are always great. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's really smart. Bitch! <laughs> wow. Have you ever stacked four bagels together and just smashed it down with a bunch of meat? <laughs> I keep saying I don't like this, but I can't stop eating it. I literally can't stop eating this. Oh my god. Hey guys, boop, thank you. Boop. Oh my Sorry. god, Ned is still here. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and big shout out to the Try Guys. With individual names, Eugene, Ned, Zach, and Keith. Thank you guys so much for being here and taking the chance on my drunk kitchen. Thank you guys for having us, Hannah. Thank you, Hannah. No, thank you, Ned. Mwah! Have a great day! Happy birthday! Make sure you subscribe!